bienvenido de vuelta a vamos a jugar Noches de Neverwinter 2, la máscara del traidor. Este es Big Loss. And we are leaving Oku's Barrow. And here's the map. And we are gonna go to the gates of Bulsantir. And here we are. Just ahead of us stand the gates of Molsentir. You've been eviscerated, paralyzed, assaulted by spirits, and subjected to countless leagues of walking. How are you feeling? Despite the rude awakening and raging bear spirits, I'm well. Your resilience is admirable. Hopefully you have the energy for one more task before we find you some long overdue rest. I've brought you here to speak with Liana. She'll hopefully know what happened to you in the Barrow, and why. What can you tell me about this place? Rashomon's cold winter is an unforgiving landscape of crafted a folk that are, well, amusingly enough, cold and unforgiving. But this is my first encounter with these lands. What little I know is based on rumors of crazed barbarians and the masked witches that rule them. I recall hearing that Rashomon has been invaded several times by Thayan wizards. I'm surprised. I didn't think you'd be versed in the local history. While we're here, it's best I don't show off my robes. Don't worry, if some villager wants to give us trouble, I'll handle it. It's my namesake, after all. I can take care of myself, thank you very... I mean, thank you. Very few people ever concern themselves with my well-being. Should the locals grow hostile on account of my markings, their fear of red wizards will prove entirely justified. Was there something else? You've mentioned Liana before. Who is she? Liana is an associate of my mother, or so I've gathered. I've never met her or even heard of her until I was tasked to bring you to her. Perhaps she'll be able to satisfy your curiosity as well as mine. Whoever Liana is will soon find out what she knows. Though I did send ahead a pair of servants to find her, and they have yet to return. What sort of servants did you send? Homunculi. Sentient creatures crafted by my magics. Sort of like me, only they're not as smart or as good looking. Much like Kaji, only these were more primitive creations. It would not surprise me if they got lost on the way. I need to know what really happened back in the barrow. Hopefully Liana can answer that. I was instructed by my mother to retrieve you. She told me little else. What does your mother have to do with all of this? She merely gave me the task to find you. She did not tell me why. As the headmistress of my academy, she is often too busy for explanations. If your mother is headmistress, I imagine that affords you special privileges. If you're implying that I get special treatment because of my mother, I can assure you, my rank as an instructor is entirely earned, and not some token of inheritance. Well, no need to be so defensive about it. You're entirely right. My apologies. My peers tend to assume my mother fights my battles for me. They are right to be paranoid of such favoritism. They are red wizards, after all. Now, if there's nothing else, I think we should go and find Liana. So, why hasn't your mother contacted you with more information yet? She has her hands full at the moment. There was a matter of unrest at the Academy. Red wizards don't always get along. She will contact me when she can. Now, if there's nothing else, I think we should go and find Liana. Back in the barrow, there was a moment when you seemed to be hearing sounds or voices. I think I... I think I need to avoid spirit-infested barrows. The chatter of the dead isn't meant for mortal ears. Let's just keep moving. Are you sure there's nothing more to it than that? Nothing more to it? Well, I was in a barrow full of spirits. If ever there was a breeding ground for the inexplicable, we were in it. Just a matter of spirits having some fun at the expense of the living. No need for you to interrogate me on the matter. All right, let's get going. These robes display my rank and affiliation as a red wizard. 
and the locals care very little for my people. As long as we're in Molsentir, I shouldn't display my red robes. Give me a moment to adjust my attire. But you're not wearing red robes. Alright, well, here's that golem, and like she said, he won't be able to work outside the barrel. I'm surprised he followed us this far. So we get a volatile air essence. Way. I believe and so. Let's talk to Sophia some more. You must have countless questions on your mind. Liana should know more of your predicament. I'd like to discuss something else. What would you like to know? If we're going to travel together, I need to know more about you. What would you like to know? Where are you from? I've spent my life at the Academy of Shapers and Binders, studying magic for as long as I can remember. The Academy is far south of here. This is actually my first time beyond the lands of Thay. Between my students and my own magical research, I have little time for travel. I'd like to discuss something else. What would you like to know? Tell me about the Red Wizards. The Red Wizards are some of the most talented, and some would argue ruthless, arcane practitioners in the realms. Nearly every ruler and authority figure in Thay swears allegiance to the Red Wizards. We are usually judged as tyrants first, and mages second. Sounds like the Red Wizards are more successful as tyrants than as scholars. The power and politics of a few should not overshadow the knowledge of many. It's bad enough that the Rashemi view my kind as heartless mage tyrants. I don't need your prejudice to compound the matter. The criticism was not leveled at you, just Thans in general. Would I travel with you if I held such a negative view? My apologies for overreacting. I've grown weary of being judged by the color of my robes, and I misunderstood. You seem more of a scholar than a tyrant. I am an instructor at the Academy of Shapers and Binders. I teach transmutive and transformative magic, my specialty. Most people assume that we're all disciples of one secretive school, but there are hundreds of academies. What sort of magic do the Red Wizards study? We commit the whole of our lives to a single aspect of arcane magic. Those who wish to learn a little bit of everything lack the focus and discipline we demand. I find transformative magic fascinating. I work with spells that can add a spark of life to otherwise inanimate materials. Kaji is one of my earliest, and might I add, finest creations. Absolutely! I'm way more useful than the others! I've only locked myself in a chest twice! Uh, this month. The students of my academy mostly focus on the rather morbid arts of binding and altering souls. You don't seem to fit the common perception of a red wizard. You were kind to say that. I was fortunate to be raised by my mother and Master Jaffe. The two of them made certain that I grew up to be a magician, not a despot. Do all red wizards shave their heads and wear tattoos as you do? Yes, though it is not a matter of fashion. Our tattoos are traditional symbols of arcane strength, and they are inked with magical enchantments that focus the bearer's will. Okay, I think that's about it. Alright, so let's go on into the city of Molson's here, but before we do that, let's explore around here a little bit. I think I see a dirt mound up here. Let's go check it out. Uh, looks like we get 590 gold pieces and three potions of heals. Sounds pretty useful to me. Now, in front of the gates of Molson here. There looks to be a merchant with a broken down wagon. Looks like some dudes are yes. trying to dig out the wheel of that wagon. So why don't we put on the persistent haste so we can run there faster. Since it will be persistent as the name implies. Let's go up here and see who this is. Shelvadar Noom, a wet and gloomy molson tier evening to you, my friend. You did not perchance encounter an army of angry spirits on the road. I don't usually begin conversations this way, but the Lovell shamans aren't usually in such a peak. My wagon isn't usually mired outside the city gates. An army of angry spirits? Is that common in this land? Only when my livelihood is stuck in a ditch outside the city wall. 
I assure you, to be truthful, I have no idea. This is a hard country and kind to foreigners, and I try to keep myself behind as many walls as I can, and bide my time until I return home for the season. You are not from Rashomon? No, I hail from Thesk, on the other side of the river to the west. My trade takes me along the Golden Way, but my aversion to death keeps me in Molsentir. The Golden Way? The trade route that connects the west to the far kingdoms of Karatur? This road is the Golden Way? I admit, one expects a more literal relationship between the name and the reality. It's grander as you travel farther west, a little more than a line of stone markers when it passes into the Horde Lands to the east. Not that I've ever traveled that far. They also say that it's grandest of all once it reaches the borders of Shao Lung, but they are usually Shao merchants trying to entice me to buy something. Oh, well, what sort of items do you trade? Furs, spices, exotic woods, the sort of dull merchandise that ought to make one rich, but in my case, doesn't. Alright, let's talk about something else. Alright, why did you ask me about angry spirits? Because the locals are staying indoors and bolting shut their windows and muttering darkly of an angry beast god. Whatever foreigner stirred up this mess, I do not envy him, or her, and I counsel him to finish his business in Molsentir quickly before the witches take notice. Witches? There are witches in this city? Oh yes, you'll know them by their masks, and by their uncanny ability to turn up when they are least wanted. Yeah, most witches do that. Capricious, wrathful, answerable to no one. Their whims are law in this mad country. I'm seeking a theater and a woman called Liana. Then Timora has smiled twice upon you, for you'll find both within these walls. Pass through these gates and head straight on to the round, ramshackle structure that smells distinctly of garlic and sour wine. And Liana, she is within? Indeed, and I have never seen her come out. That's interesting. You don't approve of this theater? I'm a sloop man myself. Amongst the foreigners in this city, you'll discover a completely irrational devotion to one or the other, the veil or the sloop. Amongst the locals, you'll find an equally irrational disdain for both. The Rashemi are a humorless folk, suspicious of foreign goods and foreign gods. Now let's talk about something else. Until the mud sees fit to release my wagon, I'm at your service. You're a merchant. Do you have goods to trade? To your first question, yes. And I'd be a poor tradesman if I answered no to your second. Alright, let's bluff. That wagon isn't going to budge for some time. Keep your prices low, and I'll make up for your lost trade. Ah, success. True. We've been mired for half a day, and every wasted hour delays my return to Thesk. Very well, don't tell the locals that I've done this, or they'll be swarming over my wagon and tossing me coppers for tiger pelts. Alright, so let's see what kind of stuff he has for sale. I'm not really too impressed with his armors. Robes of the Shining Hand, plus two. Well, it only gives a plus two bonus. The armor we have right now is better than that. I'm not impressed by any of these weapons. I mean, some of them are plus fours, and there's a plus five halberd. We can find better weapons inside. Now, this guy does have spells, and I do want to buy some of these things. Let's see, he's got this Amulet of the Master. He will buy exotic goods for 25,000 gold. But for things that will sell for less than that, you'll get better prices inside the city. So just hold on to them. This Amulet of the Master gives you plus six to all these skills right here. Diplomacy, Disable Device, Lore, Open Lock, Search, and Spell Resistance 16. Oh, he sells a Greater Magic Bag. I think we are going to need that. Let's sell something to get it. Let's sell this Hide Armor plus four. That'll give us enough money to buy this. 
Yeah, I mean, we can always use a magic bag, and a greater magic bag is one of the best you can get outside of a bag of holding. Yes? Alright, now for spells, we're gonna load up Sophia on the spells that she doesn't have. So let's go back to the yes. spells and... Let's go to Sophia and let's check out all these spells that she can use, the ones that are not rated out. So Clear Audience and Clairvoyance is a level 3 spell, so if you go to level 3, she doesn't have it. So let's buy it and scribe it. Put it into her spell book. And there it is. Deep Slumber is also level 3, also not in her spell book, so we're going to scribe this one as well. Gust of Wind, that's a level 2, and she doesn't have that either. So yeah, let's buy this. And we'll scribe it in there. Mass Contagion, it's really cheap at 9 gold. It's a level 5 spell, she doesn't have it, so I guess we'll buy it. I wonder why it's so cheap. Well, lower level spells are more expensive. Alright, Power Word Petrify. This is a level 8 spell available for 9 gold. I am just flabbergasted by that. Alright, let's scribe this in there. Wall of Fire. That's a level... No, that's a level 4 spell. Yeah. No, it's Fire 5. It's... Yeah. And Sophia doesn't have that one either. Oh, that one was kind of pricey. And then we got Weapon of Impact. It's a level 3 spell. And no, she doesn't have that, so let's buy it and scribe it. And that looks like it's about it for spells that Sophia can buy and scribe. Now, I'm thinking about getting this amulet, but she has this Luck Stone. Oh yeah, we forgot to scribe these other spells, the Evasculate and the Cacophonic Burst. How silly of me. Alright, well it's in there now. Well, the only way we'd be able to afford that would be to sell a couple of these so. rare items that we found in the barrow. And I don't really feel like doing that right now. But I do feel like doing sleight of hand and I think sleight of hand is the most useless skill in this game because I don't think you could steal anything from these people so it's a good thing I stopped putting ranks into it it's a long day. I could use although I will try and see if I can get stuff from people but I'm just not so sure at this point I mean that dude's a merchant Shouldn't I have been able to steal some gold back that I spent? Oh, what's this over here? Another dirt mound? Well, let's go check it out. Oh! So we got 50 plus 3 darts and a plus 2 quarterstaff. Oh, and what do we got over here? Another dirt mound? Oh, people are just burying all sorts of treasure over here. Alright, so this time we got 6,172 gold pieces and a Thieves' Tool plus 6. Alright, so that's about it. You're going to want to get the stuff in the... Well, you're going to want to get all this stuff in these dirt mounds out here while you're out here because you won't be able to come out here until much later. Let's see, should we buy anything else here. I know the captain can cast some of these things, but I'm just not convinced if I want to spend my money on it. That probably means that I shouldn't spend my money on it. I don't really want a wand of missiles. I mean, I think the captain's bow could probably do more damage than that. And here we are inside the city proper of Molsentir. Tier. 
Here we got these berserkers. They serve as law enforcement in this town. They're not real friendly. No one's friendly in this game. You know what I noticed about this game? I'm sure a lot of people have noticed this as well. Like the mood, the lighting, the general tone of the game. It really reminds me of that game Planescape Torment. I'm sure a lot of other people have noticed the same thing. Okay, so this gate right here, you won't be able to go into that, into the other area of the city until a little bit later. But right now, we got a bazaar here. And we can do some business with some of these merchants. So let's check out these merchants before we go and do anything else. And look at that. You can't even use the sleight of hand on the actual merchants that you buy stuff from. You can use it on the commoners and the foreigners. But it doesn't seem like any of them have anything. Okay, this is Mother Theodora. Welcome to Molson Tier. Alright, let's see what you have to sell. What is this? Okay, it looks like if you sell the short sword, you get 8,700 gold. So let's talk to the other guy before we sell anything and see if he gives us a better price. Those bracers aren't very good. They only give you plus two to AC. This belt gives you plus four deflection. And it gives you plus eight regeneration. It's not bad, but I'm sure the captain's cloud giant strength belt's better at giving him plus eight. Well, I guess that's it for the armor. Okay, this thing that costs 450,000 gold is the Aramal's Truth. It's a rapier. It's a very good weapon. As soon as I'm able to afford it, I'm going to buy it. It's a plus five. It gives you freedom of evasion. It gives you freedom of movement. It gives you improved evasion. And an armor bonus versus fighting humans of plus eight. And I'm actually going to use that as an offhand weapon because I got something better in mind for a weapon that I'm going to use in the future. Sivlim. That's a long sword. It's plus six. It proves your strength by plus two. And that also gives you freedom of movement. But it's not the captain's style of weapon. Staff of Defense. Gives you plus two deflection bonus. Yes. Okay, we got some spells here. So we're going to have to buy them for Sophia, all the ones that she doesn't have. Wait a minute. Who's that guy? Oh, that's that other merchant that we're going to talk to. Now he's over here? Yes. Okay. So Expeditious Retreat is a level 1 wizard spell. Usually you start out with like all level one spells no not all of them but most of them and she does have that one and extract water elemental we did get that back in the barrow hold monster that's level five she doesn't have that so let's buy it and scribe it okay if we go down here there's power word disable for nine gold i am speechless all right, let's buy it and scribe it. Premonition, I know she has. Yep, there it is. And then we got Prismatic Spray. She doesn't have that, so let's buy it. And we're going to scribe that. And this is the most expensive spell that she has at almost 640 gold. But Sophia has it already, so we don't have to waste that money. And then she does sell a couple of ingots and planks. And a couple of trinkets here and there. Rod of Thunder and Lightning. It does chain lightning once per day and sound burst three times per day. And I don't think it's I worth the so. 83,000 gold pieces. And you can't rob any of these merchants. I am not too happy about that. Although I will try it later with some other characters and here's the other merchant 
Well, admit, my friend, would you be interested in some fine mole horandi goods, or perhaps you are a craftsman looking for supplies? Crafting, you say? Where's the nearest workbench? I'm not from the town, but I do believe the Vale Theater has workbenches. Does that mean you're interested in buying something? Yeah, show me what you have for sale. Alright, so if you go to the short sword, now you can sell it for 8900 So he does give you the best price of all of them. So if you want to sell your stuff, this is the guy to sell it to. Now, if the goods you're selling only go for 25000 that's the max that you can get for selling stuff. At least around here. So let's check out some of these armors that this guy's selling. A lot of plus three items I'm seeing. And you know what? Let's not sell that quite yet. That axe. Not until I really need the money. Let's not sell the breastplate right away either. But we can sell this mage protector because... We are not going to get any companions anytime soon who can use it. Let's see. The weapons, a bunch of plus three dragon pebbles. Okay, so... It's a sling, huh? Attack bonus plus six and you get unlimited ammo. Shao Lung Wall Fragment. And you get spell immunity, flesh to stone. And you get 10% sonic damage bonus. Damage immunity, that's pretty good. Oh, interesting. So this comes from the Far East. Okay, anything else that's interesting? Uh, some paralytic bolts and some piercing arrows. A rapier plus three. Okay, we do have some good amulets here. A lesser amulet of health, even though we got a greater amulet. Oh, a wand of fire. Let's buy that. Let's put that into one of our slots. And then this guy sells a bunch of molds and other crafting supplies. And then he also has way. spells, so let's stock up on spells for Sophia. Now she does have Bear's Endurance. But she doesn't have Bull Strength, so let's scribe that. She doesn't have Cat's Grace either, so let's give that to her as well. Okay, looks like she does have Eagle Splendor. Now if we go to level 3, she doesn't have Fireball. So now she does. And Legend Lore, that's a level 6 spell. I guess we'll buy it and put it in there, even though we're never going to use it, I don't think. Lightning Bolt. Yeah, we're going to need that. Well, maybe not need, but we do want that. Level 0 spell. I know that when wizards become wizards, they get all cantrips or level 0 spells. Shocking Grasp. She doesn't have that, so we'll put that in there, and that'll do it for her spells in this bazaar. Any opportunity we can get, we're going to put more spells into Sophia's spellbook. And no, there's really no other weapons that Sophia can use, short of the quarterstaffs and the clubs. She can't even use this sling, why not? Oh, because you got to be a druid monk or have simple weapon proficiency. I believe so. Alright, so we're getting up in the time, so let's check out the theater in the next episode. This is Big Los signing off. See you next time. Thanks for watching, and Tango Un Buen Dia.